Hi, this is Gali Gofar. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to be talking about liver support in health and disease with diet and supplements and uh, lifestyle modifications. The liver is a critical organ playing a role in practically every organ system in the body. It is so vital, but we hear less of this organ um, than the other organs that have diseases when it has to do with health, uh, mainly because of its extraordinary uh, regenerative uh, capacity. The liver can almost completely regenerate after damage. The liver supports digestion, metabolism, detoxification, drug metabolism, reproduction, immunity, blood clotting, sex hormone metabolism, cholesterol balance in the body through bile production, and um, energy, blood, and nutrient storage and many other functions. The liver does all of these due to its interactions with the many organ systems. The liver comprises of about 2% of adults and adults' body weight. Um, there are many kinds of liver diseases. Um, inflammatory liver diseases include acute and chronic hepatitis. Um, Non-inflammatory liver diseases include um, toxic lesions, cirrhosis, um, uh, vascular conditions, and liver tumors. Uh, viral diseases are caused by hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, Epstein-Barr virus, and cytomegalovirus and others. Uh, you can successfully treat hepatitis B and C if the diagnosis is made on time. Some liver diseases are caused by drugs, um, poisons, too much alcohol, or too many fats. Examples include fatty liver disease and cirrhosis. Now, when the liver becomes sick and the body enters a state of chronic poisoning, you can test um, liver health with a combination of the following uh, blood tests. Uh, first one is aspartate transaminase and then alanine uh, transaminase, alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, and um, gamma glutamyl uh, transpeptidase. These enzymes are components of liver cells, and uh, when there is, inner, uh, and when there is um, any injury to these liver cells, then uh, these components will reach the blood, and that's how you can detect um, uh, problems with the liver. Um, through blood tests. Another blood um, uh, test is albumin uh, produced by the liver and also clotting factors are also important. Um, uh, all but one of the clotting factors are produced in the liver. Um, also vitamin K deficiency may uh, indicate a liver uh, problem. Um, the feeling of pain on the right side, right below the, libs, uh, the ribs, is a sign of liver disease. There are no medications available to treat liver disease, therefore diet and uh, supplements, lifestyle changes are the best way to heal or prevent further li uh, liver uh, damage. Here's what you can do to reduce the risk of permanent liver damage and chronic liver disease. Number one, malnutrition is very common in liver diseases. Malnutrition doesn't necessarily mean a lack of food. Sometimes malnutrition comes in the form of lack of nutrients, um, <laughs> even though there is no lack of calories. Um, alcoholic liver disease, for example, comes uh, because people consuming too much alcohol do not consume enough healthy foods, and uh, so they don't receive uh, sufficient nutrients from their diet. Also, the toxic byproducts of alcohol prevent the body from adequately um, digesting uh, foods uh, and receiving their nutrients. Um, in any case, uh, nutrient deficiency contributes uh, to malnutrition and contributes to uh, liver disease. Also, overeating is another common cause of decreased liver function. Overconsumption of food and drink burdens the liver, and an exhausted liver uh, is not as effective in detoxifying harmful substances as when this organ is functioning at its best. Obesity has long been closely linked to liver disease. Um, according to a study on the nutritional um, issues in people with cirrhosis, obesity increases the risk of um, um, liver disease and um, also liver cancer. Therefore, it is paramount to maintain a healthy weight. I recommend uh, consuming small but frequent meals, about four to six small meals a day. Three of these meals should contain a grain, uh, healthy fat, and a plant-based protein. And three uh, snacks should contain fruits or, and natural nuts or seeds in between the meals. This is ideal. Now, too little fiber is also not suited, not suitable for a healthy liver. Um, um, most of your energy should come from whole carbohydrate-rich foods such as root vegetables, uh, whole, whole grains, legumes, and fruits. Um, salt has uh, also um, pro-oxidant properties, meaning it can cause free radical damage in excess. It would be best to consume salt in moderation. 
to prevent overburdening the liver. Um, uh, a study showed that high uh, salt diet led to non-alcoholic liver disease in mice um, and stimulated um, oxidative stress and inflammation. Uh, even more than a high fat diet did in these mice. So I recommend limiting your daily salt intake to about half a teaspoon of salt a day as salt retains excess water in the body and increases the pressure on the damaged liver. Also, you want to avoid processed and red meat. A recent study on food groups associated liver disease uh, with red meat and animal fat intake. Um, uh, these excess fats increase um, the accumulation of fat in the liver and results in liver damage and insulin resistance. Also processed meats like uh, bacon, sausages, salami, they're high in saturated fats and salt and nitrates, all causing inflammation and placing a further burden on the liver. Uh, also, animal products have high levels of bacterial endotoxins after being cooked. Even after being cooked, these endotoxins don't, um, aren't removed. These toxins are associated with alcoholic liver disease and non-alcoholic liver disease. And um, liver disease also uh, caused by intravenous feeding. Alcohol consumption and gut bacteria that produce alcohol um, may cause leaky gut syndrome, allowing these bacterial endotoxins to enter uh, into the bloodstream and increase inflammation um, leading to higher oxidative stress, insulin resistance, burdening the liver and worsening the disease state. Um, healthy protein rich foods should be consumed instead. Beans, peas, lentils, as well as um, sea uh, vegetables and green leafy vegetables. There is no more, no need for more than 0 0.8 uh, grams of protein per kilogram of body weight and aim for these uh, protein sources to come from plant-based foods instead of animal sources. The recommended supplements include vitamin C, a potent antioxidant, uh, helping um, regulate uh, uh, fat uh, balance, decreasing free radical damage, and improving antioxidant enzymes, especially superoxide dismutase and glutathione peroxidase uh, liver enzymes. Um, since oxidative stress is a critical factor in the development and progress, progression of liver disease, uh, the increased production of free radicals will lead to uh, liver degradation and inflammation uh, and also, of course, insulin resistance. It is also inversely associated with the levels of in, inflam, inflammation, inflammatory markers, vitamin C is inversely um, uh, associated with uh, inflammatory markers such as C-reactive protein. Um, apples, raspberries, all the berries really, celery, um, citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C as well as other uh, vitamins and fiber and flavonoids that support a healthy liver. They are rich in also pectin, the polysaccharide that is very supportive of a healthy liver. Uh, one study in, from China with over 3,700 participants um, associated vitamin C uh, um, intake uh, with uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, it's inversely associated with uh, this disease. Um, I recommend taking about 500 to 1,000 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C four times a week. Also zinc, uh, liver disease has been associated with zinc deficiency for a very long time. Uh, zinc reduces oxidative stress through many different mechanisms. Um, it's also shown to prevent alcohol-induced um, uh, decreases in uh, glutathione uh, peroxidase, the liver enzyme, detoxifying enzyme. Uh, zinc supplementation also uh, has many, many um, influences, positive influences on um, the liver. Uh, one study from Japan on long showed that long-term zinc supplementation um, improves liver function and reduces the risk of developing chronic liver diseases and liver cancer. It's an essential trace element. Um, and therefore, uh, the liver needs to zinc to activate the enzymes that it produces, um, crucial for its healthy functioning. Um, zinc is also uh, necessary for activating the enzyme responsible for breakdown of uh, uh, reactive oxygen species, uh, meaning free radicals. Um, zinc uh, is naturally found in beans, nuts, and whole grains. For if you want to supplement, I recommend supplementing with 25 milligrams of zinc and spirulina um, tab in tablet or powder form five times a week to ensure um, that zinc will not cause a copper deficiency. It is crucial not to surpass 
uh, the recommended limit with zinc supplementation as this may cause side effects. Also barley crust, a superfood that was consumed by ancient humans, um, allowed our species to thrive. Barley sprouts are abundant in uh, the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant activities of the flavonoid saponarine, um, which has liver protective effects inhibiting the inflammatory response induced by alcohol. It is so rich in many uh, antioxidant enzymes, including superoxide dismutase and flavonoids, abundance of vitamins, minerals, and eight essential amino acids. Um, the deficiency of superoxide dismutase will cause free radical damage, leading to the development of liver cancer. I recommend regularly adding barley grass powder to your foods or taking supplements five to seven times a week. Um, also, you want to increase green tea consumption and analysis on the effects of green tea and the risks of liver disease concluded that consuming green tea may protect against liver disease. It's rich in antioxidants and flavonoids and um, it's best of course consumed without sugar. It, it's rich in polyphenols um, that interact with digestive enzymes in the small intestine and improve liver function. Also milk thistle. A well-researched plant in the treatment of liver disease contains silymarine. Um, um, it helps alleviate symptoms of liver dysfunction. Um, silymarine is concentrated in the fruit and seeds. Um, silymarine is an antioxidant in milk thistle, reducing free radical production and lipid peroxidation. It uh, has many, many um, activities uh, that serve uh, to block um, toxins um, from um, binding to liver cells. I recommend supplementing with an alcohol-free um, version of um, extract of milk thistle. Also lifestyle habits, of course, you want to avoid smoking and alcohol consumption. Smoking causes many side effects, um, um, many adverse effects on the liver, direct or indirect toxic effects, immune effects, and cancer-promoting effects. So you want to stop smoking. Um, it also, su uh, smoking suppresses immune responses. Um, also, since the liver is a detoxifying organ, uh, liver health also depends on how well your kidneys are filtering toxins, toxins from your body. You want to avoid drinking alcohol excessively as chronic heavy alcohol use uh, causes liver cirrhosis and many liver diseases. Um, uh, according to a study on liver disease, consuming between 30 to 50 grams of alcohol daily uh, for five years will cause alcoholic liver disease. That is quite, um, that takes over two years to reverse. And drinking more than 14 drinks a week puts uh, men at high risk for developing liver problems and uh, the threshold is lower. For women, seven drinks a week um, uh, will cause uh, liver damage. Also, chronic overconsumption stresses the liver by leading to fat accumulation, which leads to an increase in free radical damage and um, also insulin resistance. Uh, so to conclude, if you have liver disease or at high risk of developing the condition, you should avoid foods that can lead to more damage to your liver, avoid excess sugar, or remove red meats from your diet, even uh, eat lean meats in moderation. The best diet to follow uh, focuses on whole plant-based foods um, if you have liver disease. You want to eat a variety of fresh vegetables and fruits, legumes, whole grains, and healthy fats.